U.S. billionaires are living longer, making heirs wait. When Alice year at the age of 90, he left behind a sprawling empire that included a 12 professional New Orleans sports teams and a group of car dealerships. Unfortunately, the legal battle was marked the claims Benson was mentally competent when he made sweeping changes to his estate plans. To say daughter and this kind of drawn out fight for control is a risk faced by a growing number of longer living American billionaires. At least 15, the number of US billionaires has grown swiftly of late. There were an estimate and the RICA, adding years of asset accumulation at a time when has become a political flashpoint. Wiley Akutsato, a New Orleans native, Tom Bensona, first in Louisiana and then Texas and 1985 he was part of a group that bought the Saints franchise, now worth almost $4.70.2 million. In 2012, the fight over his estate began playing out in a 2014, after the billionaire, then 87, shifted future control of some assets from his daughter Renée and her children to his wife, Gail Benson. The grandchildren, another prominent case involved a multi-billionaire still among the living. Disputes over the stepping into the shadows is something that older people don't want to do. These days, the fortune of modern-day billionaires is so large that it's anticipated to last for not just children or grandchildren or even great-grandchildren, but great-great-grandchildren who these patriarchs will never know, said Elizabeth Glasgow a partner at Venable LLP who specializes in succession and wealth planning. And with that expect, so it's not surprising that 45% of wealth management firm Sandow offer estate and succession planning as primary services, up from 37% just a year ago, according to Cheruli Associates. The data provider, most major banks now advertise family office on planning services for clients with more than $25 million in investable assets. Some offer for longevity that can be critical to the growth and long-term success of such family business interests, said Jonathan Flack, who leads PricewaterhouseCoopers' U.S. family business unit and earlier eras, longer lifespans were driven by declining child mortality. In the past 50, John Davis, founder of Cambridge Family Enterprise Group, said advising clients on how to successfully hand off power increasingly requires say finding them a life beyond their business interests given how long the rich are living. Davis, who, stepping into the shadows is something that older people don't want to do. It's kind of scary, Flack tells clients that early planning can allow for a more efficient transfer for example, asset owners who assign shares of a company to a trust earlier, at a lesser valuation, can avoid some taxes if the business appreciates. But Glasgow warns the state of diminished capacity isn't going to be a bright line, she explained, given the vagaries of such diseases as dementia or Alzheimer's. In the past, an aging tycoon Maya Havi relied on a trustee or family friend to make the call. Nowadays, if you start early enough and do it long enough, you can move a lot of money without estate tax, eh? Then there are the taxes who are, more specifically, minimizing them. Take the dynasty, grantor retained annuity trusts, or grats, that can be particularly effective for passing on wealth when employed over decades, said Steve Anchin, an attorney for Winston & Strong LLP in Los Angeles. He advises client, at the end of the term, the client gets her money back plus a statutory interest rate of 3 percent annually as of April. An heir, who is the, once each grad expires, Anchin advises clients to roll the investment into a new one, and repeat the process, that strategy is amazingly effective and completely legal, he said. If you start early, but even in the best of circumstances, balancing tax benefits with maintaining control of your assets is tricky. Those who pass on the...